thanks very much um, for everyone for having me today, um, particularly Brad, um, who's um, opened up his farm here today to have this field day, um, and also our carbon sink for having us along as well. Um, my name's Andrew Bate, um, co-founder of Swarm Farm Robotics. Josie, my wife, um, is co-founder, so we're a husband and wife team. Swarm Farms kind of has been born from, I guess, our desire to farm better. Um, you know, we're a controlled traffic farming system. We grow zero till. Um, we're at a reef catchment, so we're really sensitive about what runs off our farm because it goes straight on the Great Barrier Reef. So, you know, we're always focused on chemical runoff, um, you know, soil erosion, all those sort of things. You know, as farmers today, I think we, um, we almost have blinkers on that for every problem we have, we're looking for a growth regulant, a fungicide, you know, another liquid fertiliser, uh, another, you know, pesticide or insecticide to solve that problem. Because it's easy, right? You just spray it on the way you go. But what we're interested in is, is with robotics, computer vision, artificial intelligence, and, and the, all the promise of robotics, that we could actually farm in better ways. We could actually bring new farming practices into agriculture and start thinking about, well, how do we kill weeds without using chemicals? How can we put seed in the ground better with less soil erosion? The principle is just to get ourselves fully, uh, get automation in our, in our system. Uh, all the guys on farm, it's upskilling them. They, you know, they know how to program now, as opposed to uh, like I'm probably the weakest link of the whole thing. Like if I had to do it, it, it would be not good. So it's uh, yeah, it's about upskilling what crew we've got because you know crew are hard to find now. So we want to like keep improving them um, and cost savings obviously, and um, yeah, getting the automation into our system. We're proud as an Australian company. We're also. Um, very fortunate to have so many Australian farmers back us into this technology and you know quite genuinely Australia is leading the world in, in ag robotics. The adoption here and the, the usage of ag robotics is beyond anywhere else in the world so um, it's fantastic to see this happening in our own country and, and the benefits it's actually delivering already and um, as I said as more partners come on board as deeper technology comes on board these robots it's going to be a really interesting future. Carbon Sink is founded on soil health. That's our primary focus. Everything is derived from soil health. The profitability and productivity and resilience of your farming enterprise is directly related to the health of your soil. The fantastic thing is that we have an in one very powerful indicator of that soil health, and that is soil carbon. And soil carbon has a value. The, the brilliant thing is that Louise, you know, she spent eight or ten years putting this together and when she did, and she obviously talked to farmers, what's the constraints and everything, and one of them was the fact that if farmers lose the carbon, they're liable. Well, they've, they've taken all that out. She holds the farmer's hand for five years or whatever um, and, and put it in front of Chevron and they've backed it. This is the first. It's brilliant. 